Whoa. Let's talk about cable and electronic storage for a minute. I know, not a particularly exciting topic, but it's still important, at least to me. As I accumulate more and more electronic devices, and cables, and chargers, and adapters, and power bricks, it becomes increasingly important to actually figure out how to store all of that stuff. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a drawer just like mine. That's not good. Now, I wanted to keep things simple, but still DIY. That's what we do here. Now, I'm sure more than a few of you have seen this toilet paper tube with the cable sticking out of it. Now, this is fine if you only have a few cables, but this may be a little bit too DIY for me. I wanted to think of something a little bit better. And, and what are you gonna do if you have, like, a whole mess of cables? What are you gonna wait, like, every time you use up a toilet paper tube to get one of these things? Like, how long is that gonna take? Now, I know we could definitely do better than this. So here's what I was thinking. Why not build some custom drawer dividers to fit my drawer exactly? That way I can fit all my cables in there while still leaving room for more. Maybe make it a little bit classier than just toilet paper tubes. I actually got the idea for this project from something my girlfriend watches a lot on YouTube, makeup tutorials. She watches countless hours of these beauty gurus on YouTube and they always show their makeup storage and it is impressive how much stuff they actually have and how well organized it is. So why not try it with something other than makeup? And yes, I've watched some of those too. Don't judge me. So with that said, let's get crafting. But first I gotta empty out this drawer. So here's the plan. I got a very big piece of white foam board from the dollar store. And I'm gonna cut this up and hot glue it together and fit it in the drawer. So I've already started putting some things back in the drawer and hopefully this gives you guys a better idea of what I'm trying to do. Basically I took all of my cables, grouped them together, and I'm arranging them in rows. So this back row I have all of my micro and mini USB cables. Middle row here is lightning cables and I'll leave some extra space in case I ever get more. Next row is random accessories and I can actually stand these up to save some space. And this last row here is all of my wall adapters and I'll, again, I'll leave extra space up here to add some more later. Also toward one end of the drawer, I'll have some other accessories that I don't really use that often like these power adapters, something that I'd still wanna keep but I won't use too often. So that's the basic idea. I arrange everything in rows and to save some space, I can actually stand some of these up. And you, if you can imagine, all of these will be stacked this way to save some space and they'll be easily accessible whenever I need them. And as I'm filling this drawer out and making these dividers, hopefully I'll find some extra space for some random accessories that I won't use too often, but I still wanna keep, like my Fitbit charger, some other random cables. I have a mouse here, an extra mouse that I'd wanna keep and microfiber cloths. I'd like to keep these handy, but I got to figure out where to put them. So the next step is to measure out these rows and start assembling our dividers. Our first piece of foam board is cut to fit the exact width and depth of our drawer, and this will act as a base for the rest of the dividers to sit on. The outer shelf for our drawer organizer is assembled. Now it's time to actually fit it in the drawer. That looks pretty good to me. So now I can cut out the rest of the dividers and I wanna make this customizable, which means I'm not gonna glue any more of these in place, but instead I'm gonna cut notches in some of these dividers, that way I can spread them out to accommodate different size electronics and cables. That way I'm not locked into one specific orientation for this whole drawer. So now I'll cut out some more of these dividers and give you guys an update when I make some progress. pieces are cut. I have about 10 or 12 or so of these pieces here with all these notches taken out. And those are gonna fit 
onto all of our pieces that make up the rows here. And you know, when you try this yourself, you'll know how many of these to make depending on the size of your drawer. I have a lot of little things like wall adapters and little cables, so I'm gonna need a few more of these than you might. So the next step is to do a test fit to make sure everything fits inside the drawer. Then we can move on to final assembly. And there you go, our drawer organizer is complete. I think it turned out pretty well. The drawer definitely looks nicer than it did before. I made mine a little bit more complicated, cutting in those notches and all the, all the cross pieces, just to see if it would work, and to make the drawer a little bit more customizable. If you wanna keep things simple, just cut square pieces of foam board and glue everything into place. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed watching this DIY. And if you did, please click that like button and please let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you know anybody that has a drawer as messy as mine, please share this video with them. They might get some use out of it. And if you'd like to see more DIY projects like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.